Welcome to Uptech Report. In this deep dive video, we hear from Dr. Chris Hazard, a unique figure in the world of artificial intelligence, drawing from experience in software development, psychology, physics, economics, hypnosis, robotics, and privacy law. Known for leading the development of the game Akron, Dr. Hazard is a renowned, award-winning researcher of advanced technology applications and an entrepreneur and public speaker. In this interview, Dr. Hazard offers some startling revelations on how artificial intelligence and machine learning can inadvertently expose sensitive and personal information, even when that information was not willingly offered. He begins by telling us how important it is to fully understand this new technology. AI right now, it's, it's very easy to overhype it and also very easy to dismiss it. And the right path is somewhere between to understand it, understand how it can be used in your industry, how it can be applied and what results you're likely to see and make sure that you can understand why the decisions are being made. It, it, I don't think it's such a clear path that we, we've got it right now. I think it'll, be, it'll take a little while to, to get these systems in place, to get them debugged and tuned and un understand um, all the different facets that, that they will interact with. Dr. Hazard gives us an example of how the application of AI is not always fully considered. WeBank just gave a talk recently at, at AAAI looking at how, uh, you know, how they can merge together all these different models from their different customers. And it's, it's great, it's really powerful in a lot of ways, but at the same time, it's like all that data is being pushed together in ways that, that we don't know where it is. You know, if, if your data is in a decision tree, or like let's say your data influenced the decision tree in some way, in this random forest or in a neural network, it's, it's, you know, it approximated you based on some part of the function, maybe it approximated you more than somebody else because you were a more influential data point for some specific example. It's really hard to tell that. You, you, you can, there's, there's influence functions, there's ways to tease that out, but it, it's just not very tracti uh, tractable and not a lot of people are doing that. And so to, to sort of help manage this and, and help use data for good, it, it was one of, it's one of my driving forces. Dr. Hazard tells us, despite the great promises we've been told about the future of AI, the applications of this technology still face major hurdles. If you train a self-driving car on a million miles of driving on a highway, and you have no accidents, nothing unusual, great, it can drive on a highway, but what happens when there's a snowstorm? What happens when, when you're in a city driving up hill and there's a road that is half cobbled, half not, because you're in Boston or Pittsburgh or some old city, and it's snowy and icy, and all of a sudden the car in front of you has its brakes on and slides into you, and you could have easily avoided it. It's New Year's, it's like two in the morning. People are flooding across the street and not behaving in the ways that they would normally behave. Or Halloween, and all of a sudden there's a new costume that all the kids are dressed as, which looks like a statue on the side of the road and is fooling self-driving cars. And Dr. Hazard cautions us, it's precisely because there is so much work left to be done with this technology that it's so important we understand its distinctions, including the difference between AI and machine learning. Um, I prefer to take a little bit uh, different approach to defining AI and machine learning. Um, and I tend to define it on two axes. We've got the, uh, the, the classic uh, exploration versus exploitation trade-off in AI. And this trade-off is if you, um, if you don't know something and there's a lot of unknowns or unknown unknowns, um, you have to go find out what are the answers to all of those. And that's the exploration. Exploitation is when you know some things and you know, oh, if I just do this, this a few more times, I'll get uh, an expected result that might be very good. And so, you know, where do you draw the line between those two and how do you trade those off? And there's been thousands and thousands of papers examining that. And it's got other names as well uh, that, are, that are closely related. Like it's, it's related to the, the variance bias trade-off in statistics for models as well. Um, and the, the, one arm, the multi arm bandit problem in game theory, there's, there's a lot of related work. So that's one axis. The other axis I would define it on is, um, is it, are, are you trying to, achieve goals or are you trying to achieve accuracy? And so the difference here is, are you working with data or are you working with um, you know, rules and causality? Accuracy isn't the only thing. You need to know why it was made. Finally, Dr. Hazard describes some shocking ways in which very personal and private information could be discovered and exploited, all from just playing a video game. If, if you are undervaluing or overvaluing positive utility events. So what that means is that if there's a positive outcome in a game, like, oh, I got this reward, I got this treasure, 
um, oh, that's that's really awesome. I, I really value that. But oh, if I lose this thing, or if I get, you know, if I gain this one coin or whatever, it's not that much. It turns out that according to, to one study, that depressed people more accurately value positive utility events than non-depressed people. So think about that for a second. So imagine that you're you you, um, uh, you wrote an indie game, you installed a bunch of people's phone, they played the game a bunch, and it, it wasn't that successful. Maybe you you know you had a couple of ten thousand people play the game, and you didn't make that much money. And all of a sudden, there's a company that's slurping up all of this game data, um, and say, hey, I'll buy your game for you know ten thousand dollars. And you're like, okay, sure, that's fine. Um, and now this company applies a whole bunch of machine learning techniques and extracts that and now can determine basic, basically um, you know, sensitive information about whether you're depressed or not, whether you were dieting, like all these sorts of things that you didn't think were exposed in your data, but when aggregated in just the right way, even if you apply differential privacy or different privacy techniques to some parts of the data, you know, there's always this sort of information leak and good models, good AI can tease that out. Thanks for watching this installment of our deep dive into the world of artificial intelligence. For more information on Chris Hazard and his incredible work in AI, visit his site, hazardoussoftware.com. This is Alexander with Uptech Report.